Um, it's been a while, but we're going to do something a little bit different today. We bought this big low store return pallet um, for 300 bucks, and so we're going to see if we make our money back or not. <laughs> so uh, I know as much what's in here as, as you do, so let's see what's inside this pallet. Well, first off, there's a, a big paint pole. And why it was returned, I don't know, but it's got a little cracked chip in the side, that's why. But, uh, so that's the first thing out of here. And this is a big, gigantic four light linear chandelier but the question is is it broken or not well it appears to be still in its plastic in its box other than the styrofoam falling apart here in one box and inside another box so well, all the hard all the hardware and everything is still in the package so the chains on the side all four globes all four globes are here and all four lights are here so it, it's not busted at all nothing wrong with it um, yeah I bet you that goes for quite a bit of money and the other chains are in the bottom so it's definitely all there and uh, it doesn't appear to be damaged so move this out of the way okay let's see what else is in here another light fixture get the stars on off the table here Let's see, Allen and Roth ceiling fixture on this one. Let's see what it says on the tag here. See if it says what damage it has. And this one here says that the glass bowl on it is broken. But sometimes, you know, that's not the case. And uh, not only is the glass bowl not broken, it's not in the package. So the fixture and all is still here. Just a very top glass piece of it is not in the box. People do that all the time. They'll get something, take a piece out, and then just return it. Okay, let's see. Well, this is an air vent, big attic fan. It says it does not work, but that doesn't mean anything. And it's definitely been used. Um, see, this is another thing. Somebody has taken their old fan and put it in this box and take it took it out the good one and replaced it and uh yeah they do that every now and then but the rest of it's all there so. okay um yeah i was just told that the big light fixture 
that big chandelier is uh, 230 bucks. So that's a good deal. We only gave 300 for the pallet. Uh, yeah. This, uh, I believe I need to repair this. And my, my wife and my daughter and everybody's all over here laughing at me for that one, but you know. Okay. Brass toilet tank repair kit, and uh, it's all there, new in the box. And it says it's missing parts, but actually it's not. I'm guessing it's a fan. Um, it looks like a fan. And it's a 24 volt max battery powered. Oh, I see what it is. It actually put this in water and it's got misters on each side of it. Um, like to cool you down or whatever so yeah that's pretty cool I'm sure that's not really cheap either that's 130 bucks new so it's still in really good shape so that's a good find like I said we only gave 300 for this whole pallet so it's got to be a pretty good deal here let's see if I can get this out without dropping anything above it on my head I don't know what this is but it is extremely heavy Oh, it's an umbrella base. Okay. It's a big, heavy umbrella base. And it looks okay. Of course, it would be kind of hard to break that. It's a giant steel base, right? Mike? It is a 800 amp battery charger, actually. And it says won't hold a charge. Well, probably not, since it's a battery charger. <laughs> um, so that's pretty funny. They did some crazy stuff with some of this. And it's also in the box upside down. Oh, yeah, that's actually really nice. really nice it's a battery charger battery charger has a built-in air compressor and everything built into it I'll try to somewhat maybe put this box back together here a little bit so we can put it back in the right way oh, close enough so yeah, and it's nice. The attachments are all still with us. It. Brand new, 800 peak amp. Um, it even has the USB port and everything on the front of it. And uh, it definitely, it, for not holding a charge, it definitely still works. It's 100 bucks. So yeah, folks, we're definitely going to make our money back off this pallet real easy. But yeah, that's a really nice charger right there. Oh, it's a jump starter also, so, huh, cool.
gonna have to tape that box back up or something there, right? Okay, let's see how much stuff I can knock on my head. What do you think, folks? Let's get this bottom part of this here off out of the way. Put it on the table out of the way. So check this out. Um, it was $154, and it was on clearance for $144. So, but it's a Harbor Breeze. All the blades. Oh, I see what happened. The shields cracked on it, but the bulbs are still in here. Uh, other than that shield being cracked, it appears that everything is brand new in this. So, yes, it is. This thing has never been out of the package. The only thing wrong with it is the shield's cracked on top. So that's a that's a good find. And this thing here, luckily, this fan you don't even need that shield. It'll work without that. So, all right. We have another one in here, and I'm betting that it's probably the same problem. So this is the same fan as the other one here, and it says damaged globe also. So, and yeah, the globe is damaged because it's not even in the box, but. Other than the damaged globe, the rest of the fan and all the parts are completely intact. It's never been touched, so never been out of the package. All right, all let's get this big hose wheel out of the way here. Okay, so this, y'all know what this is, just a big hose reel. And, uh, oh, I see the wheel back here is broken, but that's easy to fix. That's an easy fix there for that big hose reel. And that's forty some dollars right there, too. Then we've got this huge garden hose in here that's wrapped around everything. We'll get out in a minute. Here's another big hunter pan. This is kind of weird. This is a big hunter fan, but it's in here in different pieces. The rest of it's in the box where it came apart. This is a brand new toilet flapper and part of a lawn sprinkler in here. 
what else they showed in this box? This is a an illuminated light cover. And yeah, this fan motor turns freely, all the hardware is still in the box. I gotta dig through here and see if we can find the rest of the parts to this, but mostly appears to be in there. We got a ground salt receptacle in this box. So we'll just throw this all back in here and move on to the next thing here. Okay, so now, once I pull my strap back out of here, Try to get this giant monster garden hose out of the way. It says doesn't work. Okay, well, I've never heard of a garden hose not work, which is what it says. But you know, and this is a really heavy duty hose. Very large heavy duty hose. Here's another hose. It's one of the flex hoses. Oh, and it says it's got a washer that leaks. Well, that's once again an easy fix, but it's got some really heavy duty connectors on the end of this. So, okay, there's another hose out of this pallet. See what this is. Like I said, I have no idea on any of this stuff either, folks. I know as much as you do. Oh, this is nice. This is a big heavy duty angle grinder. A Tabo HPT in the case, and appears that there's the tool and all the discs are in here. All the different cutting discs and everything are in there. All right, so uh, that's pretty decent. Little find right there. If I can get back to the case, right? All right, so that's a that's a good find. Forty bucks on that one, so let's see. I see a chainsaw in here for one thing. This is a brand new Allen and Roth widespread bath faucet, and it is brand new in the package. And it appears the handles and all the pieces appear to be here. We'll put that over here. That's a hundred dollars for that faucet, folks. So I've got people, by the way, looking things up as I'm taking it out. Just to give y'all a price. I have no idea what this is. Uh, the reason for return is because it's for resale. It says on here, and they just don't want it. So. Um, it is a professional bathroom products faucet, is what it says. Oh, wow. This is really nice. Um, 
Yeah, I have a feeling this is a real high dollar unit. And it is all in here. Including the mixer and everything is in here, so... Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure exactly the cost or the price of this, but... I can tell you that... It is all in here. Look at the size of the shower head on this thing. It's monstrous. But, uh, rainwater shower head. So, yeah, I'm sure that's definitely... A high dollar, high ticket item right there. Got any idea on that? Well, I can tell you that that one faucet right here is probably as much as I paid for this pallet. I've seen these before. They are not cheap. Okay, let's see, what else we got buried in here? And this is another toilet tank valve. And it is also brand new in the package. Someone opened it and returned it. This is really interesting. Because I didn't see this in here. And this is a Craftsman chainsaw, 14-inch uh, bar. What does it say is wrong with it? Um, it says it won't start. Well, that could be a number of reasons. They could put the wrong fuel in it. Um, it doesn't look like they've cut anything with it. Or if they have, yeah, maybe. If they have, it's been very little. But... Uh, Very nice saw. Okay, and it says on here that it won't start. Uh, okay, folks, it won't start. See, that's what you get. Like I said, this uh, this one piece right here is worth what I paid for the whole pallet. And uh, it ran, you've seen that, like the second or third pull, she fired right up. Uh, that faucet, by the way, folks, I haven't looked it up, was 250 bucks. But, uh, yeah, that chainsaw works perfect, as you saw. On that one. So that saw is 150 bucks by itself. Else we, got there? we got another little garden hose, a little extension hose. Uh, we got a LED flush mount light here, which says it's broken, which is never. Which is not broken because it's never been out of the package. <laughs> uh, I would say someone had just returned it, but it's still in its sealed package inside. So, this pallet just keeps going and going and going, folks. Lighting Creations light in here. That's what it says. Of course, it's in full bunch more crunchy styrofoam that won't come out of the box. So, it's awful light. I'm thinking that it's probably not in here. And, yeah, the globe's in here, but the light's not. So it's probably laying in this pallet somewhere, which I think it is. I think I see it laying right here. Actually, 
Yep, there's the light for it. So, it is all there. Got a big rug in here anyway, folks. Oh, here's a, a nice register vent, a bigger one. And you know, the funny thing is, I've actually been looking for one of these vents to put in one of our rooms to replace one of the skinnier vents. And it just says, don't want. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with it either. They just returned it. There's the manual and everything for those lights. Oh, let's see here. This rug is a pain and it's in my way. Huh. Let's cut this side down here so we get this other stuff up here. Okay, so let's see, there's a new 20 inch leveler blinds that are in the box, and they appear to be all in there. And here's a new brand new door lock, and the keys are in it, in the package. And another one of the little light covers for this light down here, and the other one's in the box. So we have both of them also. We got a water filter that goes in this box right here for a refrigerator. Put it back in there. bunch of miscellaneous nuts and bolts and stuff to put in this box here because I don't know what to go to at the moment. Okay, let's see. What else we got here? Wow, that is heavy. Okay. What's wrong with this in here? Well, it says it didn't work, but it's probably just a bulb or wiring connection, but, um, yeah. This is another stand-up, stand-up lamp. Floor lamp with a reading light on the side. So that's pretty cool. And we got a smoke alarm. This is an AC powered smoke alarm. And it's brand new in the package. Okay, also we got a Go powered string trimmer weed eater. And it says the screw won't go through. Well, that's probably a simple error on whoever bought it's part. Most of the time. The battery's in here. Uh, everything. Okay, I don't know how they know the screw won't go through. It's never been out of its box. It's still locked down with the twist ties. But, uh,. Yeah, the battery's in here in the box. Most of the time you'll get these and the batteries will be gone. From what I've seen, but a lot of other people's videos. And this weed eater is $200, so. And as you can tell, the battery is, yeah, still completely in the box. It's still in its plastic. So, yeah, I've, uh, I've more than doubled my money on this pallet. 
Um, there's no doubt about it. As you can see, this thing's never been never been out of its box. Okay, so that's a good deal. Chainsaw. So let's see what does wrong with this one. It says will not start. Uh, as you've seen by the other one. Oh, this is an even bigger one. Um, it looks like they have cut with this before. The tools in here, the saws in here, they have used it. That's a 20 inch bar in that saw. Let's see if we can get it to start. This is a much bigger job. And I'm right handed, so I'm trying to do this with my left hand, so. So if it looks like an idiot, that's fine. And as you heard, it does start. Well, it did, it did start, it will start. saws. How much is this one on them? 200? <laughs> okay folks, well there's another $200 chainsaw right there. I'm going to put that in the case here like it's supposed to be because it wasn't wax. So there's another, another really nice saw. Let's see what else we've got piled in here. There's another, another really nice ceiling fan. And once again, it says glass globe is broken. That seems to be a theme with these fans. Everything is in there. The blades are in here. They've never been out of their package. Um, yeah, it's got a little crack in it right there. But that's not too bad. I think that one can actually probably be repaired. But the uh, fan itself... It's still in its box, still in perfect shape, so. Yep. It's kind of a weird setup on how they got that globe in here. Rug. I don't know what size this thing is, but it's monstrous. <coughs> yeah, as you see the size of this thing, it's it's a very large rug. 
I'm not going to unwrap it all right now, but it's a Premier Angel area rug. And it is 7 foot 8 by 10 foot 1 in ivory. Yeah, this is a, a very nice rug, but it looks like, I don't know, like fur. So, that's different. And it's $200 also. So that'll be going up for sale here. Let's see what else we got in here. We're getting down to a bunch of little miscellaneous stuff here now. Easy out bits. And I have no clue what this is. Oh, there are cabinet is a cabinet lock or a gatehouse lock and key set. So I'm sure we can use that for something. There's a cobalt flashlight, but unfortunately, this one actually is broken on the bottom. Uh, this is a wind and go easy feed easy feed head for a weed eater. It says it has a problem, but this part at the bottom is, isn't even open, so I don't know how they would know that. But, you know. Okay, we got another door lock in the package here. That one looks like somebody just changed their door lock. bunch more fan pieces in here. Put them over here with the rest of them. So, uh, like I said, I can use these vents. I've been looking for them, so that works. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Okay, this is another big, another big red heavy-duty garden hose in this one. And it says it's cracked, but we'll have to check it out and find out. We got more light bulbs in here. And this is the instructions and the blades and all to another fan that we don't even have. Um, we don't have the fan to this one. But, uh, but we have a lot of blades. Got a couple wood shelf boards in here. That one's cracked, so that one. They're both firewood. And then the last thing I see in here we have another paint sprayer. This is a Wagner and it has been used. And it says it will not spray. Well, normally what happens with that is it wasn't cleaned out properly. And so that's a pretty easy fix. Get some paint tanner and clean it all out. Okay, all. Well, that's it for this one. Like I said, that was a that was a pretty good score on $300. The uh, the two saws alone are worth more than I gave for the whole pallet. So, uh, all right. We'll catch you all guys on the next one.